as you know, I'm really into natural remedies that don't have side effects. So when you have your sinus congested and you want a good way to drain it, I'm gonna show you several different natural solutions that I think can help you. Now, when I was in practice, the thing that I used a lot was Spanish black radish. This is a really good one and you can get them in supplements. You can also find them sometimes at the health food store and then you can start using them in your salads and things like that. But if you get them in a tablet form, okay, I would recommend taking um, about three per hour, maybe even more, okay, depending on how bad it is, every hour for about eight hours. Because Spanish black radish is unique in that it can help pull mucus from the deeper areas of your sinuses and then just it pulls it out. You know, I was always interested in experimenting on myself. And so one time, um, because this works so well, I wanted to take it to the next level, which I don't recommend this. I juiced uh, daikon radishes and it's those white radishes, very spicy. I juiced um, about, I don't know, 13, 12 to 13 ounces. And I plugged my nose and I slugged it down. And then as I realized what was happening, burning every all the way through from one end to the other, I think that was a big mistake because that was just an overload. But I will say, I had clear sinuses for about two or three weeks. Another good remedy would be black seed oil. Black seed oil as a remedy is very antimicrobial. Most sinus infections are viral, not bacterial. There is a bacterial component, but they're either viral or fungal, especially if you, they're chronic. Like all year round, you have this sinus congestion in which black seed oil is a really good remedy. It's not just antibacterial, it's antifungal as well as antiviral, okay? And you'd wanna take this on a regular basis and so whatever it says as far as the dosage, I would triple it, okay? You get that in your body, and so the microbes just can't keep surviving. So these two remedies handle more on a systemic level, okay? Now, topically, okay? So kimchi is a very unique fermented food that has a lot of benefits for sinus infections because in most sinus infections, the person is lacking a certain microbe which happens to be in kimchi. So this is why when someone has a sinus infection and they get an antibiotic and they get no change or they get a worse situation, it's because they're killing off the friendly bacteria. So we don't just have a, a pathogen in our sinuses. We have a lot of friendly bacteria that you have to sometimes put back in and not neglect because that's what's protecting us you may have an overgrowth of yeast or fungus because you don't have enough of the good guys. So the way that you apply kimchi is you buy some kimchi and so then you take some of the juice out of it just a little bit, okay, on your fingertip and you apply that to the inside of your nose about, I'd say, no more than a fourth of an inch inside each nostril, okay? You don't want to put it all the way up there. You just want to put it on the inner part and the microbes will start to climb up and go up into your sinuses. So it does take a few days, but that's the way to apply this. Um, it's a really good remedy for sinus. Some people uh, can buy it in a powder and they apply it, or some people buy it as supplements. But if you buy a really good quality uh, kimchi and you can use that, keep in the fridge, uh, make sure you seal it tightly because the, the microbes, if it's leaking air, for example, they won't last as long. So kimchi is a good remedy. All right, number four, a good nasal rinse with saline solution. You can get a kit even at the drugstore with the saline solution, but here is the secret. You're gonna add colloidal silver to this solution. And I recommend kind of dumping out some of the saline solution and replacing it with the mixture of uh, one fourth of a teaspoon to a half of a cup of water, okay? so. As far as the amount of colloidal silver, we're not doing a half a cup, we're just doing a fourth of a teaspoon and you can just measure that out and then mix that into the saline solution. Now, why colloidal silver? Colloidal silver is hands down one of the best antiviral, antifungal um, remedies that I know of. It's great for ear problems, um, which can then clear out a, a blocked station tube. 
Uh, it's great for so many things, especially for kids, but it's really good for sinus problems. And then if you also add, you know, the kimchi uh, with that, because this kills microbes, it's not going to kill the good guys though. So that's cool. So this nasal rinse, uh, make sure it's at room temperature, make sure it's not too hot or too cold. You want to tilt your head down into the side like this. So you're going to be spraying it to one nostril. It's going to drain out the lower nostril. And then uh, if you don't have your head down far enough, it could come out your throat. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to irrigate with this special solution, okay, salty water with close silver, uh, through one sinus and then go through the other. So it's a really good way to um, expose these sinuses to a good anti-mucal uh, compound. So really I would do this a few times a day uh, for several days until you resolve this problem. Now, one last point I want to make about sinus problems, especially if it's fungal. Chances are your diet has too many carbs. These microbes, the fungus, the candida, live on a high-carb diet. So unless you change that, you may get relief, but it might come back. If you have not seen this video on candida, which is a type of fungus, in relationship to sugar, I put that up right here. Check it out.